What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Jim Graphics. In today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to design a book cover in Corel Draw. If you're new here, consider subscribing by clicking on the red button below and turn on the bell icon in order not to miss my future upload. So guys, without wasting any of your time, let's get straight to the video. These are the information we will be working with. We we'll have the title of the book, about the book and about the author. So, over here, the stock images, I have some elements I downloaded, like uh, a model, who is the author, because I don't want to use the initial or the client's picture for this video. And a Nigerian flag, a background, and those are the four elements we'll be using for this tutorial. So, let's get straight to it. All right, guys. So these are the colors we will be working with, and what we're going to do now is first of all change our paper size to A4, and um, change the unit to inches. Now rotate or change your um, paper to landscape. That's the orientation. Now I'm going to zoom. Now double click on your rectangle. As I said earlier in my previous videos, if you double click on it, automatically it will bring itself to the paper here and uh, or to the workspace which we're working on. So the next thing we're going to do now is um I'm going to like bring this over here. It's not actually at the middle, so I'm going to hold my control and select this midpoint or anchor point then flip it to the left then right click and drop so we have one two now select both of it by highlighting this way or select this and press shift on your keyboard and select this what we're going to do is drag this to this point and we're good so bring another rectangle and draw over here drop the two and I'm going to change this object position to 0 0.6 um, by 0 0.6 you can follow my arrangement so what I want to do is have an alignment okay so select this pressing the shift on your keyboard Select both objects and press letter T to take it up. Which I told you in my previous videos, letter T is top alignment. Now it's at the top. Now press letter L to take it to the left. The object is now on the left. So what we're going to do is bring out your ruler. Your ruler is somewhere here. As you can see, just drag to this point. Okay, drag to this point. Now select from the horizontal, um, drag to this point, and this is what you're going to have. Now select same object and click, press shift on your keyboard, then click on this object, press letter B to bring it to the bottom, then bring this down, which is your ruler. Now do the same, press letter R to bring it to the right now put this here select down select the right object and press letter L to put it to the left do the same now press letter R to take it to the right which is right alignment now bring this here so as you can see we have our margin our perfect margin so bring this to the middle and what we're going to do now is remove the outline by selecting all and clicking or right clicking on this over here the outline is out all right so the next thing we're going to do now is import our stock images for this tutorial 
So if you don't know how to do that, just right click here and click on import or go to file on your menu bar, select import. Now locate where your file is and um, now select this and this, just drag this way. So we'll have our auto and we'll have this background. So I'm going to leave this here because we're not working with it yet. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do now is work on this map. So as you can see, why I actually select, I'll bring, um, um, why I'm using this object is from this topic. We have contemporary issues in Nigeria educational system. So this is the topic we're working on. So um, as you can see, is an issue in educational system in Nigeria according to the topic of or the title of this book. So that's why I downloaded or that's why I'm using this Nigerian map. Okay, so what we're going to do now is um, remove or try to remove this outline from this background. So what we're going to do is go to bitmap and select mode, white and black, and you can leave it to this settings 199 and click OK. So go to your trace bitmap, outline trace, line art, and allow it to load. All right, boom. So click OK, and um, you can delete this and uh, ungroup and delete this. So we are left with the outline, which is this. All right, so this is what we are going to have. So I'm going to bring this over here and let's leave this here for now. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to import now is um, this file I downloaded from FreePick. I'm going to put the link or I'm going to put this link on the description below for you to check it out. So let's open this and um, all right, so I'm going to drag this in here. So let's give it some time to load all right guys so this is what we have here so um i'm going to ungroup this so as you can see there are unwanted elements here so we're going to like delete delete and um this actually took me a while to do though but i think i'll be fast about it All right, guys. So the next thing we're gonna do now is um, I'm gonna use my rectangle to and draw a box here. Now select both, click on weld on your property bar, and to trim this. So this is what you're going to have. And um, the next thing we're gonna do now is. First of all, bring in this color and fill it over here, this way. So the next thing we're going to do is use our freehand tool and draw something like this. So um, press Shift F12 on your keyboard and increase the weight of your outline to 4 or something um, 8. Put this to behind and um, make these round corners and this is what you're going to have. So select your shape tool and delete this node delete this delete this then this is what you're going to have now use 
your share tool to adjust this this way all right guys so this is what you're going to have so what we're going to do now is go to your object and select outline convert outline to object now automatically this is now an object not an outline so it's different between outline and object okay so now select both of this and click on weld now you've combined everything together now you can see we have some particles here which we don't want so select shift on um, shape your shape tool, then highlight this and delete okay so this is what we're going to have well the line seems not to be straight so you have to work on it you need to work on it so adjust this way so I think this is okay for now so this is what we're going to have so the next thing we're going to do now is just push this up a bit and scale this up and change the color to white now what we're going to do is use our ellipse tool and draw a cycle here this way now duplicate this and change this to white remove the outline now select this and select this click on weld on your property bar to combine both objects this is what you're going to have so the next thing we're going to do is select this this way both of it and click on trim and this is what you're going to have so delete this and um, select your ellipse tool and drag again now change this to black so let's have a perfect black so go here and select this black so now go to your bitmap convert it to bitmap you can use rgb and go to effect on your menu bar that is if you're using core 2020 i've told you guys before try and upgrade your version to core 2020 so that you can enjoy some features that comes with it so if you're not using core 2020 all you need to do after converting to bitmap or go to bitmap then scroll down to effect you will see effects all right you will see effect now under the effect select blow then under the blow select gaussian blow then use the gaussian blow to blow this effect to blow this object sorry now if um you're using correct 2020 what you're going to do is just go to your effect in your maneuver and select blow gaussian blow now you can use my settings or just use any preferred settings that works for you and I think I'm good with this so what we're going to do is just flip this I'm um, sorry I'm um, just drag this this way and uh, what we're going to do is click this objects and select shift page up now we have this behind the, the object so as you can see as if it's peeling as if we're having a peel so this is what we're going to have guys if you don't understand just drop me a comment in the comment section below the next thing we're going to do guys is bring in this background because i want to create like uh, a sparkle light with it like just a sparkling or a glitch on the background so just right click on this and select power clip inside then this arrow will appear then 
drop it in here so already automatically is inside the box so what you're going to do is right click again and select edit power clip now you can scale this this way and this is fine select your transparency tool on your tools bar then go to your blend mode and um, select screen now you're good to go click on finish and as you can see guys we have um, some effect from the background like a dust effect and some dirty effect in it so we're good with that so what we're going to do with this now is just select your ellipse tool and here draw a cycle then change it to white remove the outline and select this then group both and what we have now is one object if you don't understand guys this is kind of complicated but drop me a comment in the comment section below so the next one we're going to do now is bring in this pen which we downloaded from free pick um power clip it or you can just leave it here and just drag it over here if you encounter this problem just click on pitch shift pitch up and um, you can just flip this so if you have a problem to flip um i mean rotate just click on it and click on it again that's double click twice then just this are these angles like it will change from this to this from this to this so just select this anchor point and just drag this way then what we're going to do is just scale this up and do this bring this down and scale it again sorry all right guys so this is what we are going to have um just drop this here and the next thing i'm going to do as you can see guys this thing is 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 out of the frame so just use your rectangle tool and select both then click on trim and boom is out so this is what we're going to have So the next one we're going to do now is guys i'll bring in the title of the book which is contemporary issues in nigeria educational system now select your the text tool and click then paste all right so i'm going to break this apart this way um and this this way so So I'll use the phone call impact. So click on Ctrl K on your keyboard to break it apart. So just something like this. Now select and press Shift F3 to give you the change case option. Select uppercase and same with this. Same with this so now break this apart this way and bring this down and scale this this way issues now delete this so this is what you are going to have guys so now bring in this color and um, you can use your pick to pick a color from here and just drop it here and drop this here so guys this is what we are going to have now the next thing i'm going to do is put the name of the author here the next thing we're going to do now is select your text to and write dr johnson now reduce 
select your shape tool and just drag this this way and just leave it here i think it's fine bring in this same color over here and um, copy this background paste it here and right click and just drop it inside this place so the next thing we're going to do guys is bring in this text now select your rectangle tool and draw a box give it white color now duplicate this give it the red color now select your text tool and draw over here now double click on it and paste text now this is about the book so highlight this and press ctrl j on your keyboard to justify the text so what we're going to do now is just select this and use your shape tool to just give it a line spacing now paste this over here change the uppercase then change it to bold give it the red color bring it down and So, this is what we're going to have. So, the next thing I'm going to do now is duplicate this, delete this, and copy about the auto and paste it here. Now, do the same thing highlights, justify and um, scale this this way use your shape tool to drag this down just to give it a spacing all right guys so this is what you're going to have so the next thing i'm going to do now is select this letter t and change give it a drop cap we'll call this a drop cap so and i'm going to do same with this drop cap so the next thing we're going to do guys is i've already have a mock-up of this book which i've done so i just did a mock-up of it so i'm going to place this here and um about the book so just drop it here all right guys so this is what you are going to have so the next thing we're going to do is bring our rectangle to and draw another line, another box here. Give it a white color. And um, select your ellipse tool and drag, draw a cycle, a perfect cycle here. Then duplicate this. Now select this one, that's the outer one, the up the, the, the outer cycle. Now right click on it and select wrap paragraph to text. So this is going to wrap this object to this text and giving you a room like to you know uh so I'm gonna like um do this all right guys so this will actually give you a space to put your picture so i'm going to color this white and the next thing we're going to do is bring in our auto picture and place it here this is just a model guys i'm going to put the link on the description below for you to use um okay so this is what you are going to have so the next thing we're going to do is just um 
just scale this up a bit all right so i'm gonna bring in the public publisher logo and just paste it here all right guys so this is the name of the publisher so i'm just gonna put it here and um i'll bring in this name just by duplicating it and select my rectangle tool just drag this way give it a red color and um, bring in this this way now put in the name here and give it a white color now select shift page up if it's hidden behind to bring it forward the last thing we're gonna do is select this and bring it down and just change this to about the auto alright guys so this is how to design a book cover in Corel Draw. If you have any question, guys, don't be afraid to drop me a comment in the comment section below. And um, guys, don't forget to share this video with your friends. Or better still, don't forget to like this video. Give it a thumbs up, guys. And thank you guys for watching my videos. I really appreciate you guys. I really appreciate your time for always watching my videos. See you in my next video, guys.